we get a free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Let's move the mic over a little bit. Let's do minor adjustments. Nice. We should be alive. I'm just going to check and confirm. I hope so. Let's check it out. Do a little refresh. Let's see. There we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, we're doing a meditation live stream per request. And it's something that I promised uh, to do a while ago. So, um, seems like a good time to do winter coming on. And today, what is today? Today, today. Today is December 17th. 2020 okay and it's 8 30 p.m pdt west coast pacific uh canada united states time okay and uh this is our first meditation stream we did uh we've done one stream where we did an exercise uh stream sort of the same setup to a certain degree where i uh, showed you some of my exercise routine uh, and I sort of phase in and out of that and I add new more things and take some stuff up and change things up and stuff but that's sort of the rhythm and rhyme of my exercise routine Emily how are you doing I hope you're doing well <laughs> should be a fun stream tonight Emily really um, been looking forward to this we're going ballistic with the live streams and uh, it's nice to kick it down a notch nice to kick it down a notch and uh basically uh this is our second live stream of a i don't know 14 set live stream we've been uh, doing for a couple of weeks electric shepherd 86 good evening good evening cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well i'm glad you're here okay because i'm going to show people my tai chi meditation stance that i used to do and i wanted i've been wanting to get back into it uh and i just haven't had the chance so this might be a good time to do it holden who's how are you doing thank you very much for the tier one sub yay we got 2020 victory little emote twitching jason how are you doing i read medication live stream at first laugh out loud i was like whoa this should be good we'll save that for 420 brother We'll save that for 420. Crack, how are you doing? Yo, evening all. Scooty6, hello, hello. Welcome to a live stream. Awesome. And there's one thing I'm going to run past you. You have to correct me on this because I haven't done it for a number of years. And uh, I'm pretty sure I have it right. But if I make any mistakes in my uh, explanation of what I'm doing, uh, Cheryl, please post the comment and uh, I'll read it. I'll reference the comments, keep on coming back, and you can correct the people on chat. And then when I read the comments, I'll correct what I've said. If I'm I'm pretty sure I might be doing a couple things wrong because I'm just getting back into it. And by the way, gang, if you want to know when I really did this, it was 20 years ago. Okay. Where I did this, when I did it for the longest period. Okay. When I did it for the longest period. Rob Ross, how are you doing? Cheers, cheers, Margras. Emily, 1,000 points. Will do. Awesome, Cheryl. Thank you very much. DJ Register. Hello, hello. How are you doing, DJ Register? <laughs> What's your SoundCloud? Hold on. You have a SoundCloud. Uh, do I have my... Oh, dude, I should have got... Uh, uh, I should have got this ready. Where is my SoundCloud? Gang, if you want to follow some good music, here's DJ Register's... Uh, uh, the soundcloud page check this out okay here's uh dj registers soundcloud page and uh if you want some good music check it out uh she is a friend of mine and i've danced to her music before it's fantastic <laughs> emily cheryl yeah nice 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 i had an interesting day 
Apple PME. Okay, awesome. People are hooking up. First time attending the stream. Bubblehead Boy 310. Welcome to our live stream. Happy to. Thanks for my pleasure, DJ Register. Man, your music is good. I got to do, got to do. Spider Man, how are you doing? Thank you for a Twitch Prime sub. Gang, I'm going to do my intro. Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez. As Speedy Gonzalez as meditation streams go. Gang, I'm on Patreon. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a great way to do so. Okay. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. Okay. Uh, Electric Shepherd, I love your bookshelf in the corner behind you. Thank you. I built it. <laughs> I built it. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. And I got some kick ass books in there, some sets and stuff. Uh, this side this side down there below is records this side up and all the top are my books and this side is my partner's book books okay speak gonzalez spider-man nice <laughs> good seeing you smile face thanks dj register <laughs> Got to smile, got to smile. Emily, if Twitch gets rid of uh, the bees, I might seriously cry. Uh, what do you mean? They're too darn cute. The bees, are they getting rid of the bees? Chicho, smiling face is the only meditation I need. Spider Man, nice. <laughs> Bubblehead boy, slow day at work. So, watching while at work. Awesome, awesome. Good stuff. I have more toilet paper. How are you doing? Hey, Chicho, are you going? Uh, for the unplugged stream tonight uh, loving the candles haha <laughs> thanks you gotta create a nice chill space elder god how are you doing not seeing this view in ages yeah haven't done this view for a long time good to be back good to be back chicho is this a 420 meditation this is a uh, i'm gonna show you a standing tai chi meditation that my friend who's a qigong uh Bakwa uh, Tai Chi instructor and he's incorporated that into his whole life for a long time he showed me how to do this meditation and uh, I'll give you the lowdown on it um, and, and it's really good Get, like gang uh, it, it opens up your spine it adjusts your back uh, like it, it, it allows you to hit pinnacles it it kicks you to a certain state, boom, 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 where, um, like, one of the times I had a huge breakthrough on this, I called him up. I was doing it at like three thirty in the morning, <laughs> in Alberta time, three thirty, four o'clock in the morning. I was doing it, and it adjusted, and it rejuvenates you. And I ended up calling my friend in Vancouver, like woke him up at three thirty in the morning, and just went, "Holy shit, man, this is insane." Is brilliant takes takes dedication to do um, and I want to get back into it I want to make it a part of my routine right so I'm a little lag behind no worries spider-man yeah I'll show you I'll show you gang and for those of you who are supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support gang we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at Okay. And for those of you who are following, subscribing, commenting, sharing, joining our Twitch live streams uh, and the mods, thank you for supporting this work and thank you for being here. And we do announce these live streams on Parlor, Elo, Mize, VK, Gap, Elo, and Twitter. Okay. And we do share additional content there as well as having a discord page where a lot of people are sharing a lot of information there and uh, you anytime you want you can come to our twitch page in the chat type in exclamation mark social uh, all the links will pop up including our discord discord page hi youtube <laughs> hello <laughs> laugh out loud tony how are you doing <laughs> for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio on SoundCloud as podcasts, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. 
uh, including Spotify and iTunes. And where we're hosting the stuff is on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho. And we will be uploading this video to both Bitchute and YouTube. And gang, thank you for the follows. Uh, apologies if I missed them. Okay, but we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And you can support this work on those platforms by liking, commenting, sharing, turning on notifications. You are guaranteed to get your notifications on BitChute, not so much on YouTube. Uh, YouTube doesn't really send out notifications for independent creators anymore. I don't believe so. I haven't been getting my notifications. Okay. And if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. And there's a button doop, doop, down here. And for those of you who are supporting this work through YouTube membership, thank you very much for the support. Good. Thanks. Awesome, Tony. Awesome. Let me take this thing down, gang. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to show you guys something that I incorporated part of my life a while ago. And it was a period where I was going through, I was doing a lot. I was getting maybe, I was for, I was working my ass off, partying my ass off, and I needed to rejuvenate. And uh, partying my ass off and working my ass off, I'm, I'm, I'm stating it in terms of, I was working on average about 12 hours a day and going out uh, in the evenings for about anywhere between five to six, seven hours a day, sleeping for two to four hours and doing the whole thing for a few months, right? So I needed something to rejuvenate me. And I talked to my friend who did uh, Tai Chi, Bagua, uh, his instructor, uh, Shigong, and he did a lot of demonstrations and he did instruction and he's been incorporated that into his life for a long time. And uh, the, er, the first set of videos I uploaded to my YouTube channel were actually um, sort of a anniversary uh, dinner banquet that I went with him where his school was putting on. Uh, uh, and it was with Master... Um, I forget what his name is <laughs> and there was a lot of masters there doing performances and i videotaped it and uploaded that so if you want to get a feel for what this is about where the origin of this is you can check out the uh, sort of the martial arts playlist i have on my youtube channel okay and some of the videos i ended up uh, shooting and some of the videos i uploaded some of those people are uh, some of the very well respected people around the world uh, regarding uh, tai Chi, Bagua, Qigong, and some of the other martial arts, right? Um, and I don't, I'm not on that level, not even close. I can't even consider myself to be doing any martial arts. I just got my friend. I learned uh, the 24, almost the 24 movement for Tai Chi, the most basic movement for Tai Chi. Um, and I did that for a while, but I was really gravitating towards the meditation that I'm about to show you that my friend showed me how to do. And this is me getting back into this, uh, trying to get back into this 20 years. Um, I've done it off and on a little bit, try getting back into it. But basically this meditation I'm about to show you, okay? I'm going straight into it, gang, because uh, uh, it's important. And I like to sort of run it past uh, I know Cheryl does some of the stuff. See if I have my memory serves me right, right? So when I really got into it, it was about 20 years ago. Okay, 22 years ago, really, when I really got into this. And um, I'm just going to read the comments. Yeah, YouTube notifications are, <laughs> are, are spotty the best indeed. YouTube is a titanic. Uh, they are heading towards their destiny. Indeed, snack of the day she showed. Snack of the day, I just got apples. Uh, I have more toilet paper, just apples. Uh, I'm not going to be really snacking uh, because I'm going to be doing meditation. So I don't want to be digesting food when I'm meditating. And that's one thing uh, you really don't want to do uh, unless there's eating meditations. I don't know <laughs> of or digesting meditations, which I'm pretty sure there is. Right. But as far as I'm concerned, if I'm going to be meditating, if I'm going to be really kicking into neutral and letting the body relax and uh, let the mind wander or focus or empty. I don't want to be digesting food because that takes energy, right? And gang, don't forget, we are blessed 
and there are people being persecuting in this world, persecuted in this world, and one of them is Julian Assange. So remember this, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? First video on the list, I believe. First video on the list, indeed. Awesome, awesome. Do you think meditation, uh, do you think meditation on your own is better or in a small group with friends i've i've tried doing meditation with groups um i personally like solo okay maybe i'm not powerful enough to do meditation with groups i know the energy can kick up a lot right uh, that being said by the way this is more silent meditations i consider dancing to be meditation and if you ever gone to a festival where you, there's a lot of dancing involved uh, or movement involved, either on the dance floor around fire or just in the forest or whatever it is, it the energy level is insane, right? So those are meditations as well. And I've done a lot of that where all of a sudden you have anywhere between, it could be just two people or just you by yourself, one, two, a handful of people to dozens upon dozens of people or hundreds of people going that is meditation okay free assange indeed uh, electric shepherd there's a music video by a band called son son uh, called oscillation with a gentleman doing tai chi that's really cool awesome link it up for us brother on our discord page okay I don't practice Tai Chi, but I train in related fields. Indeed, Elder God. And they're all related, really. They're all related. Even like I've done, for me, uh, I did do um, Jiu Jitsu uh, for a bit, and I've done wrestling. And I found Tai Chi to be very similar to Jiu Jitsu as well as wrestling, but wrestling is more entanglement. I know Tai Chi has it as well, especially Bagua, but I believe Bagua anyway. Uh, but wrestling and anything that involves movement with some form or another, um, especially contact to a certain degree, I, I found that to be similar, just wrestling and, and uh, jujitsu to be similar to Tai Chi. Uh, Emily, my sister has uh, been meditating and I want to do it with her, but I haven't been doing it as much as I should. Like I, Emily, me as well. I've been meaning to do dive into the meditation for a long time. And 22 years ago, I went into this thing hardcore, right? And the thing with meditation is you want to do it consecutively, right? On a daily basis. And for me, the standing meditation I was doing every day, right? And initially, I could only hold the po the posture for like five minutes and then slowly built it up and after about 35 days i did this meditation standing meditation 35 days consecutively right and at the end of the 35 days i was able to hold this position for close to 45 minutes to an hour okay and wow amazing right and then when you stop i skipped one day and then I try to get back into it, but kickstarting it back up again was very difficult, right? And for 22 years, I've started it, stopped it, started it, stopped it. The longest I've gone, I think it's three days or four days, and then break. And then once you break, it's very difficult to get back into it. So it's very important to do on a daily basis. It must become a routine. Okay, Emily, I get a similar feeling when I put on music and let my body dance how it wants. Yeah. I think the key is feeling the music and letting go and feeling the body. Uh, crap, my meditation has always been with sound. It can be full on noise albums or a minimalistic composer like uh, Charla May Charlene Palestine. Okay, for me, uh, I've done music and I like silence as well. And this standing meditation, I've done both with music and silence, but I do it usually in silence. And once you get good at holding this position, uh, you can close your eyes. Don't close your eyes right off the bat because when you close your eyes, you might fall. You might lose your balance, right? So you don't want to do that. You want to initially have your eyes open and 
ideally focus on a single point okay and i'll show you guys this should we get into it let, let me show you this uh posture love the presentations more investments uh investment streams on the horizon indeed coach we're going to do a lot of investment streams okay we will be and thank you uh i try to make sure uh we have a nice beautiful setting to do whatever it is we're going to do wing chum is my art 34 years now wing chum is that what it's called cheryl guided meditation meditations are a great way to start especially if you're not quite sure what to do when uh, even what to expect eventually it may be distracting yeah i i've tried guided meditations as well like listening and stuff and they're okay but i only do those on random uh, electric shepherd meditating with white noise in the background is my my faith cool 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 silence is magnificent indeed gang let me change the angles camera angles it's basically going to be the same camera camera angles to a certain degree but there's going to be one showing my feet as well because the feet is important so gang this is what's going to happen i'm gonna because i won't be able to read the chat very often i'm just going to tell you everything i know about the standing meditation and then i'm going to come back and read the chat cheryl i believe knows this okay or anybody else that knows this correct any mistakes that i'm saying okay any instructions that that i'm giving that are wrong flawed or i recall uh incorrectly because i'm gonna after i give let you guys know what i'm doing i'm gonna come back and read the chat right and correct anything that i said and then we're gonna go back to the those angles and we're gonna i'm gonna hold the posture for as long as i can and we'll see where we are and we'll try it again we'll try it again uh and at some point if i get into this if this kick starts me doing this on a regular basis and if i'm able to hold it we'll do this on a regular basis okay it will most likely be at random because i can't set a specific time to do this but that's further down the road let me tell you what i know of this standing meditation okay emily cheryl i love guided meditation that are calm not a ton of words but more breathing or positive cool 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 scotty six the alan watts guided meditations took me to the deepest state of meditation i have ever been in my whole body felt like it was vibrating amazing experience and alan watts is amazing okay here's the angle we're going to use okay and i got a camera set up on the bottom here and i'm going to turn this on as well so you're going to see my feet okay because it's important now let me tell you what i know of this meditation okay first of all i like bare feet you can do with shoes not with shoes or whatever it is or with socks if your floor is cold or whatnot but ideally i think bare feet is the best way to go okay right <laughs> now one of the key things you want to do you want to visualize yourself and i'm going to keep continually repeat this right imagine your spine right visualize focus on your spine going up your neck to the top of your head and try to visualize yourself as if you're a mannequin being held up by a string from the top of your head right so what that should do it should elongate your spinal column right so what you want to do is the whole one of the main purposes of this is to elongate your spinal column okay now when you're standing what you want to do is i want to come closer a little bit so you see here okay what you want to do is have your feet as wide as your shoulders right so you don't want to be like this uh, i believe okay now 
Cheryl can correct any of this, right? You don't want to be like this. You don't want to be like this. You want to be the width of your shoulders, okay? And your feet, you want pointing straight forward, right? So you don't want your feet to be like this, okay? You don't want to do this, and you don't want to go in, right? You want your feet to be pointing straight with your knees, right? In line with your knees, straight out, okay? Imagining you're being hung, you're hanging from a string from the top of your head. Now, what you're going to do is bring your sh hands up like this and palms facing you, okay? So just imagine yourself having energy or a ball or hugging a beach ball, really, right? So just imagine hugging a beach ball, right? Like this. And more than a beach ball, imagine sort of a current or energy going from your left arm to your right arm, going all the way around. And just imagine yourself holding this energy ball if you want, right? But letting the energy flow, right? Now you want your hands, you don't want to be tight, right? You don't want to be rigid. You want to be loose within reason. And you want your palms to be in sort of in a relaxed position. You don't want your shoulders to go up like this. You want your shoulders to be relaxed right so you're gonna go basically come up like this right? and sort of relax relax the shoulders and imagine this energy flowing going from the left to the right right now don't twirl just feel it just relax with it right now what you're going to be doing is you're going to bend your knees, but you don't want your kneecaps to go over your toes, right? So this right now, let me see if I can come close. I'm just going to bring. So right now, I would be doing it wrong because my knees are past my toes. You don't want to go past your toes, okay? So what you want to do is bend your knees, right? But don't go past your toes. And you can go as far as you want, right? As you can, really. And it's difficult, really, again. Yeah, it's difficult because once you start doing this, holding this position, you're gonna start feeling burning here on your thighs, right? And you're gonna feel heat in your legs, right? Now remember, your toes are pointing forwards. You're not gonna go past your toes on your knees and you're gonna to try to go down as far as you can. Now, for those of you that do weightlifting, when you're doing weightlifting, you wanna push your bum out, right? You're, you're basically, if you're gonna do a deadlift, and I, I've gone to the gym, so this is sort of different than the gym, right? You're not lifting any weight, right? You're elongating your spine. That's what you're really into, right? So if you're gonna do doing weightlifting, deadlift, or anything like this, you're pushing your ass out, right? Like literally, you're pushing your ass out, tightening your core, and then you can, you do your lifts, right? And again, if you're doing weightlifting, your knees don't go past your toes. That's bad news, right? So you're gonna deadlift like this, right? With your bum out. When you're doing this meditation, if I recall correctly, you're not pushing your bum out. You're opening your hips. And you're going like this, not like this, you're doing this, okay? So when you're going to be bending, you, when you're going to be bending, sink your hips. Cheryl's saying, I can see it, I can see the writing from here. So Cheryl's saying, think about, think about it as sinking your hips. Yeah, so just do this. You'll know what, right? This is weightlifting. This is opening it up, but you want to be, you don't want to go too far. You just want to go, let it sink. I guess sink your hip. 
So let it just settle, right? So you're doing this, right? So you're gonna go bend your knees, make sure you're in line, right? So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be in line, right? My toes pointing straight out. And in general, I used to do this, right? Bend my knees and bring my arms up. And you don't want your arms, you don't want your arms like this, right? You wanna be like this, right? So you're gonna bring your arms up. <laughs> do this. You're gonna bring your arms up, right? And let your hips sink. Imagine hanging from the top of your head and you're elongating your spine. You want to have a focal point straight ahead of you that you're going to try to focus. And what you want to do is hold this position as long as you can. Okay. That's the meditation that you're doing. Okay. Don't go like this. Don't tighten up. You want to be loose, but you're going to, it's really a lot in your legs. Now, what you're also doing is keeping the core relatively tight. You're not over tightening it like you're about to do serious weightlifting, right? You're just tightening it. Okay. And oops, which way am I going? I'm going over here. So you're going to do. Bend and imagine yourself elongated. Right? Don't be afraid to do minor adjustments if you need to, right? But don't go like fast movements. If your body is going to, and your body does, like when I would be doing these, this standing meditation, all of a sudden, slowly your body might twist, right? Go with the twist, okay? So, but make sure your head is straight to a certain degree. You're not gonna, don't force it. But if your body needs to adjust like this, let it adjust, like literally. You'll be standing here like this and slowly you're gonna hear, you're gonna feel like and then slowly your body might move and then move back into position again. So you go with your body. And what I noticed when I was doing this for extended period of time, right? Multiple days in a row, the opening up of the spine doesn't occur from here. It occurs from your tailbone, it starts from here, the opening up the spine, and slowly over multiple days and longer and longer sessions, you start feeling your spine opening higher, 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 higher. Like I was able to get up to about here after about 35 days, a little bit above the shoulders where I could feel my spine opening. And there was a little bit of opening that I would feel at the base of my neck as well, which was amazing. If you do this, supposedly, okay, I haven't gone there. Ideally, what you want to do with this is you want to do this meditation an hour a day, multiple days in a row, ideally for years. You want to make this a part of your life, right? And from what I understand, what I've been told, you do this for an hour a day, you reach an hour of holding this position, you do it multiple days, your health will go incredibly awesome, right? Tons of small corrections, especially, so Cheryl says, tons of small corrections, especially as tension builds in different muscles, small adjustments will help. Yeah, so what's gonna happen is, because really, gang, and one thing you'll, you'll notice is, you will get shaking, right? Like when I would be doing this position, all of a sudden, like, like literally, your arm is shaking like mad, 
Now you're not, you wouldn't be doing it. It's just a muscle, just resonating, spasming, or whatever it is. And then slowly, the body itself does the corrections it needs to, to relieve the stress, get the energy flowing in the right direction, right? Our bodies are crazy powerful. We just need to be able to understand them, use them, and let the body do what it needs to do. Okay. Uh, Ding Baba Chicho, you're talking about kan Kananda Dali energy. You should have uh, focused on your throat and tongues, then the middle of your brain, uh, penal gland, then into the crown of your head and above. Cool, cool. And I don't know what the name of this meditation is. I totally forgot what it was. Um, Cheryl, do you know what, what this meditation, standing meditation is called? Do you know what this uh, standing meditation is called? I'm just gonna read some of the chat and then we're gonna, we'll, we'll get into it, okay? I'm just gonna put on my glasses. I'll change the camera angle again. Uh, just so, here, I'll bring this up. Okay, that's what I know of this meditation. Okay, that's the way I'm gonna approach this. Zhang Zhang. I find parts of my body shake a lot when I do yoga. Yeah, is I and by the way, from what I understand, yoga and tai chi are they they utilize the same energy, they hit the same core areas. Cheryl, I've always known it as Shigong Standing Meditation. Is that what it's called? Shigong Standing Meditation Gang. Okay. So look into that. Um and I don't know, Cheryl, if I did a good job explaining what it is that we need to do. Okay, yoga and Tai Chi are very similar, very similar, very similar, very grounding. Gang, I can honestly tell you, when I was doing, when I have been doing this, and the energy you're, you're tapping into is very, very similar to the energy you tap into through uh, entheogens, without a doubt. Okay, I, I've experienced both of them and they are very, very similar. Okay, Starsky, yo, Chicho, this is crazy, man. It's 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 a.m. <laughs> well, Chicho, I sometimes do present moment meditation by focusing on breathing or sign. Yeah, and you should be focusing on your breathing as well, gang. But don't over focus on it, let it become natural right or just your body but definitely not thoughts don't give thoughts the time of day and just stay present for as long as you can it should be a deepening experience cheryl you did a great job it's hard to explain verbally okay it did, and and i had the hip part correct right i just want to make sure and gang i'm gonna do and if you want to try you should do um try it out I have no idea how long I'll be able to hold position when I when I first did this 20 years ago gang and keep this in mind I was doing geophysics in the field hardcore right I was in really good shape way better shape I was back then than I am now and my friend said you do this I said oh no problem he goes no 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 you don't understand Chicho you won't be able to hold it very long I go well how long do you hold it he goes he can hold it for a long time like he, he was like over an hour he could hold bricks and stuff like this right and he goes look when people start this they'll be lucky to be able to hold it for five minutes like literally they'll be lucky to hold it for five minutes most people hold it for two minutes three minutes and then slowly you increase your time the longest i was able to hold it was for like i said for about i did it for 35 days straight i was able to hold it anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour okay depending on uh, the day. Do you ever meditate while on entheogens? Uh, entheogens I consider to be meditation, uh, Ding Bobber. And yes, heroic dose of score in Terrence McKenna. Starsky, Chicho, what about mixing meditation with uh, martial arts? Yeah, indeed, uh, like Tai Chi does it, right? With the, with the movements. I don't know the movement anymore. It's like dance, really. Uh, Cheryl, yes, the hips. Specifically, 
pelvis not tilting forward is key pelvis not tilting forward pelvis not tilt. okay yeah you don't want your pelvis tilting forward you want to open up the the spine in the back right you want to open up the spine in the back gang should we try i think i'm teach you a few times i have uh, done successful sitting meditation that involved changing my brain waves state to that of experiencing what were basically lucid dreams but they were formed through guided visualizations awesome awesome yeah i know i have friends that do um, sitting meditation guided meditations and stuff like this there's we just have to listen to our bodies right we need to listen to our bodies and don't be afraid to experiment okay and if you know there are t amazing teachers out there they could be your friends they could be your relatives they could be just people you run across people you see in the park people you see doing something you're curious that might send you interaction with them might send you down a road which uh, may include the routine into your life which will be amazing right ready to try it with you okay let's do it gang i want to change up the angles again okay let's do this now i'm gonna face uh, i'm gonna face you guys i'm not gonna go sideways i'm gonna focus on the camera okay now remember very important don't let your knees go past your toes okay and one thing by the way my friend told me this this meditation is supposed to energize you okay and he said usually most people do this in the morning to energize because it really does energize you for me i wasn't doing it in the morning i was doing it before bed before going to sleep like at two o'clock three o'clock in the morning after going out and doing whatever and i would get up early and early uh, in the morning right so for me the longest i was able to do this was a period where i was very active high energy and this was a way for me to breathe relax clear the mind and be able to relax the body enough and get the energy flow enough go to sleep and i would wake up energized like mad and the dreams were insane of course right and the dreams were insane okay gang let's try this out let's try this out
fun. That was amazing. Let me turn this on. Cheryl, don't forget to relax your shoulders. Yeah. And drop your elbows. I always have to think of it as less rotation in the shoulder joint. Cool, cool. I've got to read some of the comments. Like for me, I've had injury on my shoulder. So it's a place where I'm feeling it a lot, right? Let me read this. Let's check this out. Okay, where do we leave off the thing? Qigong. I'm gonna read uh, Cheryl's comments, gang, just uh, because uh, she knows this uh, this posture. I just want to see um, if we did anything, uh, if I made any mistakes, uh, corrections. Wow, Lady Luna Star, thank you very much for the raid. Um, okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our live stream. Cheryl, be sure, be sure then, be sure then your weight, the energy is distributed across your entire foot, not just your heels. Yeah, envisioning sending roots into the earth can be helpful, but send them through the ball, heel and toes. It should help with eliminating extra tension in the legs and the hips. Yeah, perfect. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Cheryl. Yeah, but I uh, get distracted by that too. Do, 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 do you ever visualize it further? Okay, I'm gonna just gonna read Cheryl's comments. Sometimes just envisioning it as being beyond your body is all that's needed. Cheryl, hello to all who joined. Welcome. Chisho is demonstrating Qigong standing meditation. To the best of my abilities, uh, Dingbaber, a uh, Cheryl to Dingbaber. I haven't looked into it specifically, but I don't experience it with yoga much more with Qigong and Tai Chi. 30 seconds here, 30 seconds there, adds up, adds up. How long? I don't know how long I held it. I should have probably, and it's a good idea to time yourself, gang. I didn't time it for some reason, I, I didn't think I was gonna last very long tell you the truth uh i lasted longer than i thought i was gonna last uh, and free assange free assange free assange gang uh, cheryl as long as possible in regular setup to an hour tonight uh, we'll see we'll see i didn't last I, i'm assuming it lasted like 10 minutes max uh, Cheryl Chicho don't forget to relax your shoulders and drop your elbows I always find that it is less uh, uh, rotation in the shoulder joints okay cool I'll keep that in mind Cheryl thank you very much Ding Bubber sounds very similar to some of the Qigong energy movements experiences I'll have to check into it awesome shirtless Kylo how are you doing and free Assange free Assange free Assange how do you feel Chicho uh, it feels good I feel burning like like for sure there's burning on the thighs uh, more on the on the left one than on the uh, sorry on the right one than on the left one uh, just because I've had I've been in car accidents so I know where my injuries are right and the body tries to adjust for the injuries that's what I felt so mo doing more of this brings more balance into your body uh, that's from my experience previously good evening knights of old comic how were you doing ding bobber shirtless car no joke that you were meditating until assange is free <laughs> maybe we do at some point right maybe we do at some point for sure his uh uh the the trial the judgment is supposed to come on january 14th so we do we do we do right whatever we need to do okay so for me 
um, my focus when I was doing this thing. Let me let me tell you what what was going through my head. For, uh, my constantly going through my head was um, being held up from a the top of my head by a string. So I was constantly thinking about elongating the spine, right? And I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys notice where I was holding a position, my right hand was shaking, uh, where showing the weakness or the stress, right? So my focus was not to stop it, not to become rigid, but to let it shake and see where the adjustment was happening through the body. And then it would stop every now and then, right? And when it stopped, I would just try to either hold that position or relax that position. And then it would either adjust, don't not shake, but then it, the shaking would start up again, the vibration. And it was a little different at times, right? And then there were minor adjustments taking place where it would relax more. And as the shaking, I felt the shaking begin before the stress in the in the legs kicked in and you could feel it um in the in the thighs for sure and then a little bit in the calves as well and as the stress built up in the thighs there would there would be minor adjustments the body would make and the stress would go away and then it was sort of a dance a battle between the shaking on the arm and trying to balance out the the weight on the legs and the mind letting the body do the minor with minor adjustments it needed to make to be able to to continue to hold the position and for sure with the feet not going in one position but making sure the the weight is distributed and as Cheryl says you're thinking of yourself being rooted into the ground but not like concrete but like tree roots going in where you can do minor adjustments right it's very much along the same lines of if you've ever gone to festivals um, very much for me it happens uh, with metal it's more power boom boom but with electronic music or even uh, dark deep dark dubstep or any electronic music really there's been times when you're dancing either solo or with crowd or whatever it is where you feel the weight and that's the one thing that i found similar between the the feeling the energy of dancing at festivals uh the realm of entheogens as well as the standing tai chi meditation or doing the 24 uh movement tai chi uh but more in the standing meditation where your legs feel heavy powerful but they're still liquid you can still move them they're very mal not malleable but very very fluid but they're powerful and when you hit the ground right it feels like a resonance like a circular like it's like throwing a rock in a pond where there's a ripple going right I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever gone to major or any type of festival or dancing like this where you're dancing and the legs are moving when you hit the ground and there's like a boom, you can feel the vibrations going through. That's something that you also feel exactly with the Tai Chi meditation stand where you're standing here and like literally it would almost be impossible for someone to knock you off. Like if they were coming to hit you, your legs would stay exactly in the same position and you could just twist. Like you could do, and there's a movement with Tai Chi push, push hands where two people stand grounded and they try to knock the other person off balance. And when you go up against a master, <laughs> they just go like this and you fly away. Like it's incredible, right? Uh, so... It, it's very much along that same level okay Cheryl that is a great description Chicho it's just uh, super slow-mo it's just super slow-mo it's crazy man this thing making me feel amazing right now really 
uh, Ding Bama Chicho on Meditation Master, I listened to said that just that after the string at the top of your head, but then uh, that you raise your chin. Oh, yeah, there's a chin. The chin doesn't raise. I think it goes in. So you're thinking, I forgot about that part. Thank you for bringing chin all the way and then forward and down to straighten yourself. Exactly. Thank you, Ding Bobber. So when, you're, when your head is being pulled up, your chin, you're not, you're not, you don't want your neck to be like this. You want it to be like this, right? You want the spine to be elongated. You're not, you don't want to put stress on the neck like this. You want to go like this. So the chin is coming in a neutral position. And remember, gang, your tongue in its neutral position is on the top of, on the roof of your mouth. Smith, how are you doing? The man, the legend, elder God, quote, meditation will not carry you to another world, but it will reveal the most powerful and awesome dimensions of the world in which you already live calmly contemplating these dimensions and bringing them into the service of compassion and kindness is the right way to make rapid gains in meditation as well as in life end quote zen master hissing yon cool 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 lady luna star how are you doing yay i can talk now <laughs> chicho ecstatic dance plus entheogens plus edm equals trance i bet um haven't really experienced a uh, ding bobber amazing and again uh lady luna star thank you very much for the raid uh smith i'm a thai cheese master uh -huh. <laughs> depends on what type of cheese swiss uh uncle sweetheart hey chicho everyone i like the nighttime streams me too i like all the streams tell you the truth i do push hands and uh wang chan oh you do push hands elder god i i tried doing i did push hands with my friend that taught me this that man what the hell <laughs> i was like what's going on i was like a rag doll he was just throwing me around <laughs> I was like, what's going on? And just to let you know, okay, uh, push hands is really cool. It's really cool. Thank you for the raid. Yeah, thank you for the raid. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you one experience, one other experience I've had when just I've had multiple experience of the grounding, being so solid in the ground and the legs feeling like a ton each, but able to move and boom. You put your foot down on the ground, you feel this resonance. Like it's very trippy. You feel the waves going and you go woof, 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 woof. woof. Um, one of the times I was at a, of all, all concerts, at a Ben Harper concert, right? And this is sort of links up to Salvia de Venoro Chronicles that I will be talking about. But it was a Ben, uh, ben Harper show where it was a smaller show and we were just standing there and I remember a crowd moving and I was very grounded at the time and I was standing in one position for a long time and didn't even feel like moving I felt like I was rooted into the ground and people were coming towards me and moving through and I would be just standing there like it was incredible like even bumps you would I would just be standing and just go Poof. It was it was incredible and that's the sensation you want through this standing meditation you want your feet to be boom but make sure you're not locking in like a nail on your heels or on your toes you want it to be fluid enough that the energy can move right Ding Bobber, one of the most intense meditation experiences I've had involved 30 minutes of exercise specifically designed to activate dormant energy in the body. At the end, she told me to put my tongue on the roof of my mouth and focus on my third eye. It was intense, almost too intense. I had another yoga instructor specifically tell me to ground myself more when doing meditation so that my mind doesn't go crazy with all the extra energy cool cool and by the way gang look releasing energy is amazing but one of the most important things you got to keep in mind is 
and this is from teachings of a had from different types of people and stuff like this you need to open up the heart chakra or heart energy before you not before but you need to make sure you focus on that as well not just focus on energies in different parts of the world or the mind chakra or this chakra or that chakra it all has to go through the heart right uh, if you're focusing on it's like bodybuilding it's like weightlifting right there are people that only work on the upper body you look at their legs they're like skinny little things uh, not very useful right uh, you see people who lifted weights their body built and their legs are strong and their bodies are strong like you get 20 percent more growth in muscle mass when you work out the legs than if you don't work out the legs right so you want to make sure you're not just working off the top you're not just working on the bottom you're going through your whole body right you're going through your whole body push has been useful in 2020 zare how are you doing nice i've seen harper yeah i, I like ben harper during the time uh i want to saw him five times um there was a period when it was smaller i saw him and when he got bigger i stopped going seeing him fight club coat haha <laughs> is it ding boy sure 100 uh ding bobber chicho you're 100 percent right the heart balances it all it would be chaotic and can lead to um, psychosis and other things as well indeed and gang free assange free assange free assange right i have tree trunks for legs yeah legs are everything really uh, legs are extremely important extremely important okay extremely important okay cool how long we've we been at this we started oh we've only been i don't even know how long i did the standing meditation for unfortunately i uh I lost track of it I should have timed it it's important to time it and gang if you're gonna do this on a daily basis time it right always try to exceed even just just a few seconds more than before some people I've heard they put up a clock or something that go and they know they've hit that mark and they try to go further right I never really did that I just try to hold it as long as I can and once you do that you get a your mind your body sort of you get a sense of time you understand how long it is to a certain degree right i have a redwood tree trunk located somewhere else any other poses you recommend um hannah this is the meditation one i've done i've done i do other poses where i'm um i lay down on the ground and tighten up the core and uh, I, I do the leg raises like I love doing the leg raises uh, so tighten up the core and you do the same thing with the hip right put your spinal the lower spine make sure it's kissing the ground and you do your leg raises right X oh sorry I tried uh, I tired I hope you can make a living from the content you offer you have the cleanest and most interesting content I've seen on the ASMR oh, thank you very much thank you very much we work slowly towards it uh, no rush we do this 420 style and we do it right right and for me this is something I love doing uh, I think I think it's important all of it layered on mathematics uh, but yeah for sure uh, as we start getting more support more funds coming in i will definitely be uh, we will definitely roll in more things right um if it takes longer it takes longer right we're going to chill with it uh, for me i went into creating content uh, for a few different purposes right w one of them being i want to make sure as many people are literate in language of mathematics as possible the other one the other one being that I want to make sure I'm sharing as much as I can because I know the technocrat centralized power wants to stop uh, must they want to be the gatekeepers of information so as far as I'm concerned it's my duty to make sure I make information flow 
right? I don't want to be just consuming information. I want to act as a node to have information come in and pass it along to the best of my abilities with my own little flair, right? And the other main thing I always tried to do, and it was, it was in my design of uh, always kept in mind when I was creating content is I'm, I want to make sure I'm going to be enjoying doing this. It is a part of my life. I don't want it to become stressful, even though it is sometimes stressful because I really care about what I'm creating. But I didn't want to want it to be a burden. I want it to be something that is happening naturally and is part of the community. So we take information coming in, not just me sharing information. I take information coming in and mash it up and uh, push it out. Zare, I did a semester of Tai Chi at my community college. I forgot the entire routine. It was over 10 years ago. I was doing Aikido at the time as well, which complemented Tai Chi because uh, they are both doop, uh, soft forms of martial art. Cool, cool, cool. Emily, <laughs> doop, doop, choo. If extraterrestrials existed and they are a higher civilization, they totally meditate all the time. Ixo, love, love to all. Have a good night. Good night as well. Thank you for popping in. Uh, quote from Elder God Empty your mind, be formless. This is Bruce Lee. Empty your mind, be formless, shapes, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put water into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. We have Bruce Lee in the chat, indeed. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> the less of me, the more of God. John Butler, Emily laughing gang that was fun i i really um fingers crossed i do this tomorrow right and then fingers crossed i do this the next day fingers crossed i do this on a daily basis okay and maybe uh, we see i might keep this set up for tomorrow's politics live stream and if I keep this set up for tomorrow's politics live stream, maybe after tomorrow's politics live stream, we do a meditation again. Okay, maybe. Maybe that will be what makes me do this, right? The hardest thing to do is to do it the next day. The hardest thing after that is to do it again the next day. The hardest thing after that is to do it again the next day. And again, and again. And again the trick is to do it again and again and again and after a while you'll need to do it right and if you miss a day you're gonna hate missing that day and you're gonna be really disappointed with yourself for missing it think about chicho after 30 days they say it becomes routine I went to 35 and I broke it right so 30 days is arbitrary uh, for some people it becomes a routine after one day right I would love to do this with Chicho maybe we do it before any live stream i.e. politics comics etc possibly before or after the kicker is uh, it's all based on the setup right uh, maybe Zara let's see what we do the the trick is to do it every day though right i'm not doing live streaming every day it has to be every day if i uh oh my god if i don't do a thousand push-ups a day i call myself a elder god yeah when i I've, I've started this up multiple times doing it for a few days and then i lag something happens i just i say i'm gonna do it later and then it just doesn't happen right and then, then i'm like man i can't believe I, I get so disappointed in myself right aim for 1001 the next day my friend starsky says 
<laughs> funny, 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 funny. Gang, that was good. That was fun. Cheryl, thank you very much um, for uh, providing the information uh, and the feedback. Cheryl, if you don't have time for a full session, do what you can. Ah, good advice. Where and when you can. Standing in line somewhere. Ah, anywhere is a great time to do this. Even if you don't use your arms. Oh, that's a great, great uh, suggestion, Cheryl. I didn't think about that. Dr. P, greetings, blessings. How are you doing? Great, uh, great advice, Cheryl. Really, gang, uh, if I haven't done it, even if I've done it tomorrow before the live stream, if I haven't done it or during the live stream tomorrow, remind us, I'm going to keep the setup we do. Okay. I only got Chicho. Where are your fluids? Right here. Oh, yeah, I should be drinking after this. After any workout gang, especially this type of thing, drink water. Pound it back. Really, thank you for the reminder, Elder God. Drink water after after this any type of meditation any type of workout what would that be called the lantern uh the lantern landing i don't know the lantern landing ding bong richicho oshu haha osho <laughs> advises that every moment and ever uh, and movement become a meditation to make life itself into a meditation not easy not easy hanging from the ceiling oh this guy yeah it's a uh, it's a thing that i have it's uh, chandelier chandelier the other this guy right oh this one that's a lamp yeah this one is a sort of a lantern thing chandelier chandelier I think it's chandelier the tea light went out on that one <laughs> the lantern thing yeah this guy and then we have this is a stained glass one this is a stained glass one this one is a stained glass one this one yeah thank you dr p I love them the where we love them right uh, this one is glass the tea light went out of it this one is a uh, just glass there's a, one here I really love this one check this out I really like this one this one is awesome you put a little tea light in there and light it up it went out it was on earlier and it comes off the only problem with it is hard to get the tea light in there here you gotta pull it out let me bring a tea light I'll light it up for you guys I'll light it up for you guys oh wow just a little tea light right and you gotta drop it in check it out you gotta be careful with it and drop it in <laughs> and it's got a little holder in there right nice drop thank you I got good practice on it It's pretty. I really like this. 
is really nice. I think we bought it at a garage sale for like 50 cents, 25 cents. This one's really pretty too. I'll show you this one. Check out this one. This one's awesome as well. This one's really beautiful. <laughs> this one's amazing. Look at this one. Check out this one. This one's amazing. Like all, like, seriously, this one was a thrift shop. We paid a little bit more for this one. But beautiful. This one's super cool. Really nice. <laughs> Lamp. <laughs> Let me show you my lamp collection. <laughs> Think power. And gang, don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Okay. We got some other little guys around that we haven't lit up. fun gang should we call the stream should we oh let me show you this one too let me show you this one as well i gotta show you the hanging one as well oh this one's difficult to bring down i can't bring down this one this one's difficult to bring down it's uh i've got it up there with wires so it's difficult to bring down that's my yeah don't it's all good. Yeah, I won't be able to bring that one down. It's got wires on it. Uh, yeah, I would have to unwind it. The vest I'll enjoy from. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Super fun gang. <laughs> Picture for Discord. I'll show you guys at another time for sure. I have a neighbor with some similar on his porch. Cool, cool. A candle, lights. A gentle light is some of the best right some of the best it's it's good space to be right we light them and twirl twirl them make some uh makes awesome shadows on the wall cool cool oh you'd go like this give it a spin it's like a disco light but asmr style chill <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> But instead of people seeing John Travolta doing the dance, you're like, la, 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 swinging along. Super fun, super fun. Gang, do you guys have snacks? Apple, right? Punisher Max, how are you doing? Candles was a nice scent. Can be relaxing as well yeah as long as i don't i don't really like scented candles because i don't know what type of scent essence they're using there right so in general i don't do scented candles at all have a salad nice probably i'm gonna probably eat sprinkle a little cinnamon on those oh cinnamon yeah yeah or uh, apples and honey dip the apples and honey oh my god apples and honey is amazing Well, for sure, cinnamon would be great. Ding bopper, you got cookies? Awesome. Got it for din, Dr. P said. But had a smoothie instead. Scented as long as it's essential oils from nature. Do I agree with Dr. P. Yeah, look on. I'm waiting for the 20th, 21st December to pass. Us without incident. Actually, I'm on a 24-hour watch. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Chicho, what about the incense sticks? I don't, I don't light incense sticks. Uh, for us, like when we do cooking, we get <laughs> amazing aroma in the house, right? Uh, so we do. There are essential oils every now and then. My partner lights, but for me, I don't really do. Uh, one thing I do have is bees beeswax uh, uh, tea lights. So we do have beeswax tea lights. They're a little bit more on the expensive side, but beeswax tea lights are amazing. Like they smell really good. And by the way, gang, you can get clunks of beeswax. I've bought like beeswax in bricks before and, you know, played around with them, right? Uh, they're really good. So beeswax tea lights are good. Just have a you know handful of them, right? Uh, so if you want the aroma, you write you light beeswax and you get the honey smell, which is amazing. When I light candles, it's sanctifying for me. Qualifies qualifies the energy. Yeah, beeswax is good. Beeswax is good. I love the aroma of beeswax. Yeah, me too, Cheryl. Uh, beeswax aroma, candles are is the way to go as far as I'm concerned, right? Ding Bobber, every 400 years, this alignment occurs. It's a divine masculine energy aligned and is uh, symbolized by two kings competing right now. And right now, Trump and Biden are going at, I, I don't consider either one, but that's politics, either own kings. That's all BS as far as I'm concerned. Uh, esoteric fun gang let's call the stream we got a little politics dripping in at the end we take care of that tomorrow okay peace jupiter and saturn gang thank you for being here tomorrow uh eight yes thing bower says tomorrow at 8 30 p.m we're doing our current events live stream okay and afterwards i'll keep the setup hopefully and uh, we'll do the standing meditation and see where we go. Okay, quick one. Maybe we'll set it up that we do uh, standing meditation on a regular basis. Why not? Right? Good for our health. Good for our health. Right? Um, and tomorrow's live stream is going to be like one of how many did we do in the last two weeks? I don't know how many we did in the last two weeks. We did at least 13, 13, 14, two and a half weeks with the 14, 15. I don't know how many we did, which is fantastic, which is fantastic. Gang, aside from that, if you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, you can check out the Patreon page everything's layered on mathematics i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this so i appreciate it very much and for those of you who want to follow this work for a while you can follow it and if you do have the means at a certain point to support this work and make sure we're able to do what it is that we are doing and expand on it patreon is a great way to make sure uh, we continue doing this we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in whoop, this way the chat twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion thank you for being here okay and mods thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and you can go to our discord on our twitch page anytime and in the chat write so exclamation mark social and all the social networking links will pop up including the discord page that we have where there's a fair bit of people there sharing a fair bit of information and people continuing some of the discussions 
that we've been having on our live streams and sharing information some collaboration and art and music and uh, and a whole bunch of other things which is fantastic okay for live streams when we don't have any visuals we do upload those, those live streams on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes elder god 131 chicho max was reached tonight awesome we got 131 uh viewing on twitch i think that's a good number and thank you for the raid uh gang and thank you for coming here okay airy teal true dr p there is an aboriginal ceremony uh at aluru in australia this 21st magic box ooh, ooh. many many rituals will take place many rituals will take place the longest night of the year gang the veil is thin focus is power fascinating fascinating and we will be uploading the stream to both bitshoot and youtube and if you want to support this work on those platforms you can like you can share you can comment uh, you can turn on notifications and uh, you're guaranteed to get notifications through bitshoot not so much through youtube and if you are on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership and there's a button here and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support starsky thanks chicho this was interesting fun got me doing the standing up again man thank you for the suggestions because this uh, last stream came about through a suggestion people saying that we should do a meditation stream why not by all means let's do manifest destiny da ding bobber dar dark ritual but god is all you need love is love energy kindness there's many things we need i think gang i hope you have a fantastic night if you want to talk current events we'll be here tomorrow 8 30 p.m and we might do another stand-up meditation qigong standing meditation good night everyone